Check this out. We have new photos of the 2025 refreshed Kia Carnival. And I've said this before when it comes to Kia. They are currently crushing it. And they've been doing it for a long time, ever since the introduction of the Tiger Nose in 2006. They've always had a very strong identity in their designs. And I think this one, the new Carnival, that th this, this is the Korea spec, South Korean spec. This is obviously going to look exactly the same when it comes over here to the US. And I'm going to show you exactly what I like about this design because I think it's one of the best looking minivans on the market today. You can definitely see some of this um, styling that we've seen in the EV SUVs from Kia coming, coming back here in the 2025 Cardinal. We're going to have a look at the front side and uh, rear and the interior of the current one because we don't have interior photos of the 2025 model here but before we do that let's have a look at this article from car and driver link down below in the description what we know of the 2025 carnival so far receives an update and looks more interesting <laughs> i kind of i definitely agree with that this is a way more interesting uh, rear end and I also think the front end is uh, more interesting than it was before we don't know about the interior updates at this point but it may receive some new features uh, Kia released photos of the Korea spec carnival with new front and rear end designs plus different wheels and new trim level called gravity and I love this trim level right here because it is all blacked out so you can see all the a pillar right here the trim around the the windows and this little um, detail that Kia likes to add on their cars uh, this metal piece normally on the normal Kia uh, is now a sort of satin gray or gunmetal gray and here you can see the new front end as well with the blacked out uh, grille in this gravity trim. Up front the new grille texture and the larger headlights with futuristic LED uh, accent strips. Same goes in the rear end. We do have almost a full light bar right here as you can see. Very much like the EV SUVs that Kia has dropped uh, the recent year I would say. And Kia is also introducing a new trim level called Gravity that we talked about uh, with the black accents all around. And we don't have any uh, information about the interior yet. I do think that it's going to be a pretty similar interior to what we have right now because the one we have now looks fantastic. I did a review, in-person review of the Kia Carnival on the Sketch Monkey channel and I really like the interior of that car and I, I don't see any necessary updates to the design. What I would like to see though is the changes to the powertrain which we don't expect to change for the 2025 model year. Still a 3.5 liter V6 uh, and only available in front wheel drive uh, and an 8 speed automatic. The, the transmission is great but what I like to see here is a hybrid version of the Carnival with all wheel drive. I think that would be such a good seller here in the US uh, specifically with this new design that we have here. So with that said, let's jump in and let's check out what's new here uh, for the 2025 refresh of the Carnival. I, I did think that the previous, the current generation of the Carnival looks great because we have a very uh, clean and almost SUV-like front end and I'm a huge fan of that when it comes to this design right here. We have a clear framing also of the, um, of the main key graphics and a clear separation with the bumper right here. Then we have this chiseled nest going on in the side. Uh, we do have the Tiger Nose of course intact in this 2023 model year right here. You can see the Tiger Nose being implemented right here. I also like this grille pattern because it makes for a very unique uh, type of styling and you would expect the uh, turn signals to be maybe integrated in this LED strip right here but in fact it sits right here in the grill so that is the indicator light for the 2023 Kia Carnival. Now looking at the new one what I think they did here is it looks a lot more it looks more stately and the reason for that is instead of having these sloping lines here that we have looking beautiful still in the 2023 going down like this and into the LED grill we now have this same line up here and then a vertical starting point for the grill we also have a lot of more horizontal layout of the grill itself a new pattern in the texture of the grill uh, of the internal pieces of the grill and of course we have this EV uh, SUV styling that we have coming back in a lot of different EV models these days from Kia coming back here in a pretty nice way. So having this more upright feel in the, in the Kia 
uh, Carnival 2025 makes it feel a little bit more elegant in my opinion and I also really like the dynamic feeling that we have in these LEDs. But you can see right here we have a thicker piece at the very end then it becomes thinner as we go along here and then comes back at the bottom with the LED becoming again a little thicker. I think this is such a small little touch uh, they could have easily just made the same thickness of the LED going all the way around, but adding some weight in the very end points of these LEDs, it, may, it makes it feel like uh, it's way more dynamic than just having a single thickness all, or, all across this LED. And it brings weight to the end points of this LED. I think it's a beautiful little touch. Then we have a nice housing chamfer for the main headlight right here, and we don't have uh, any sort of bumper headlights usually or a big trend is to have them down here now but instead we do have them in a pretty traditional location you can also see the lower section here is uh, sort of new I believe and I'm not sure if I prefer the new lower section to the old one because I think this has more interesting features in it specifically with this trim piece creating this wing down here and then you have the fog lights down here now this looks a lot more simple and I guess that is the uh, you know vibe or philosophy that we are in the trend that we are in right now is just simplify everything as much as possible you can definitely see that we still have the tiger nose intact here that's the first thing I look for if they still keep the tiger nose or are they moving away from it it doesn't look like it because we still have it intact here the tiger nose grill uh, introduced in 2006. Now one thing that I would like to do here I do kind of like these wheels and I definitely like uh, these wheels as well very uh, uh, geometrical looking wheels with the squares inside of it but this is a very cool design and it has more of an SUV vibe to it in my opinion specifically now with this new front end so I would like to like slap on some sporty <laughs> wheels onto this and it looks absolutely fantastic if we add some sporty low profile wheels onto this package and just plant the car properly maybe add a little bit of thickness to the rear tire as well it's a beautiful looking uh, minivan this uh, carnival this always has been and I think this refresh just makes it even more so so looking at the side view and what's new here uh, you can see that the key graphics on the force of the proportion is going to be all the same this is just a facelift it's not a brand new carnival and I've always liked this shoulder line that we have and the boxy shape so Kia has sort of two philosophies when it comes to restyling you have the Sportage for example if you think of the Sportage compare it to the Sorento they are completely different Sorento being more of a boxy grown-up uh, design while the Sportage is a lot more round and organic and this is definitely more towards the the Sorento vibe being practical and having this boxy shape definitely creates a lot of room inside here you can see that we do have this wing here so Kia likes to add something that breaks the overall design and in, in the carnival case it is this wing here up top you can see in the gravity trim level uh, you do have this being now gray, grayed out and it doesn't look like it's a, as shiny as it is up here you can also see more clearly the new wheels here but other than that it's a pretty similar styling in the side profile you can see that even this piece looks to be the similar housing for the new taillights even though these new ones stick down a little bit which we're going to have a look at in just a second and you can see how much more upright the front end is and I think as I said that adds to the stateliness of this design so let's have a look at the rear end then I'm going to show you the current interior and the features that I like about that since we don't have any new pictures of the 2025 refresh so up top of course this is 2023 down here is the 2025 now I've never really been a fan of these taillights of the carnival because I think they look too weak specifically the LED strip that goes inside of it here you can see that we do have a very very thin LED going right here in the same thickness from one end to the other with the Kia logo in the middle it looks decent but I want to have a little bit more dynamic feeling in here so maybe add some thickness to this area or something like that I wanted to redesign this the first time I saw it because I th thought it lacked some dynamic feature in it and that's why I do prefer the new one because this looks so much better even though the old one as I said was not an ugly design but the new one just adds so much more to this rear end with the new tail graphics that we have here making it a lot more interesting to look at it looks like as I said this housing 
is the same housing that we have right here and we've now moved the logo down to be on the tailgate metal piece itself instead of having it be right here in the middle and I'm kind of glad that they didn't extend this taillight uh, light strip or a light bar to continue all the way because this creates a little bit more of a um, more interesting features in the rear end when you when you have these uh, different thicknesses like we talked about in the front end as well you see we have a different thickness here and we also have a different thickness here and it looks like yes this is also this piece right here is a different thickness than we have in the middle section of the LED it's just a beautiful design overall and I'm looking forward to seeing this in um, out on the roads because I think it's for not just for a minivan overall it's just a beautiful looking design last but not least let's have a look at the current interior i think this is a beautiful looking interior but as i said when it comes to the powertrains i do want to have all-wheel drive as an option and i also want to have a hybrid powertrain as an option as well in addition to this v6 3.5 liter v6 that we have as standard across the entire carnival lineup but what I do like here is that we do have physical buttons we do have a sort of a nice integration of the uh, gauge cluster right here looks like we have a housing for it and then this integration continues into the infotainment screen the infotainment screen doesn't take up too much space it doesn't stick up too far and overall it's just a high quality looking design from Kia Kia is one of these brands that overall they've made this uh, incredible transformation from being a very cheap brand without any sort of identity pre-2006 when the Tiger Nose was introduced nobody really knew what a Kia looked like but now they have a super clean identity and it's so impressive to see just how much Kia has grown the past uh, decade or so and that continues of course with this new 2025 Kia Carnival